you know what I realized the other day? I I'm sorry, this is gonna sound so out of left field, but like in Gattaca, which is my favorite movie of all time, right? So, you know, in Gattaca, spoiler alert, if you've never watched it, you should watch it, by the way, it is amazing. But um, you know how Vincent needs to make himself look as close to Jerome as possible in order for their little switcheroo operation to work? I mean, like the face, they're able to merge both of their pictures together so that it looks like a height of them both. They're both, uh, you know, white guys in their mid-30s, so it's not that big of a deal to make their face look the same. And he, I think he also wears contacts, right? Yeah, Jerome has blue eyes, so Vincent had to get blue contacts. And then um, he wears these, like, skin pads on his fingers that have uh, samples of Jerome's blood in it so that every time he goes into Gattaca, because they have to give, like, a drop of blood every time they visit, what's it called? DNA ID checking at Gattaca headquarters, but the, you know the biggest physical transformation that he had to go through though to make it convincing that he was Jerome is his leg lengthening surgery. And it just hit me the other day that that's basically plastic surgery. Like Vincent was able to achieve his dreams of getting into Gattaca through plastic surgery. It was under my nose the whole time. I can't believe I never realized this about my favorite movie. So if plastic surgery was good enough for Vincent to use as a means to achieve, manifest his greatest dream in life, then it's good enough for me, okay? <laughs>